You know the feeling. A voice in your head telling you you don't deserve to be here. Everyone knows you're a fraud. You're not as smart or competent or talented as you have led others to believe you are. Maybe it was triggered by a grade that was not what you expected or an experience that made you feel dumb or ignorant. Maybe it was triggered by actually getting a good grade and not believing you deserved it. You're not alone. Tina Fey, Maya Angelou, Albert Einstein, from Lady Gaga to Michelangelo, great creatives and normal people alike are part of the vast 70% of the population who have experienced the insecurities that we call the imposter phenomenon. The phenomenon was first identified by psychologist Pauline Rose. It is not a disease, but a normal, if annoying, feature of our minds. See, when you're a student and you are among a lot of interesting, intelligent and qualified people, you can feel that you are not as qualified as everyone else. Studies show that the feeling is common for people regardless of their capacity, intelligence, age, gender or culture. Your classmates feel it. Your professors feel it. It can be more common among those who belong to groups that have been historically discriminated, but it is a very common human experience. One way to explain this imposter phenomenon may be our lizard brains. This may sound a bit weird, but bear with me for a minute. When our brains evolved, the first thing they needed to do was to understand if a stimulus was a threat or not. This is what we call the fight or flight response. Essentially, if you're a lizard, you're constantly looking at the world wondering whether things are going to eat you. And it's safer to be too cautious than too brave. Brave lizards make great meals. Our brains evolved, but the structures that run deep within the center of our brains actually still look remarkably similar to those of a lizard. So when we are faced with intellectual or social challenges, our brain triggers this fear response. And regardless of our talent, we feel scared and interpret these feelings as a feeling of not belonging important times of transition, such as starting college, choosing a career, your first internship or a new job are especially likely to trigger such a reaction. As we move away from our comfort zones, these systems of alert can go into overdrive. We see smart, talented people everywhere and make the assumption that none of them are struggling or facing challenges like we are. What's worse? Our generation may be having an even bigger challenge with this issue, since we're used to sharing our personas online, creating this perception that everyone out there is always having extraordinary experiences and great lives. Of course, we know that the reality is different. So what should we do with this annoying feeling? Well, knowing that a lot of us experience this can be a first step towards dealing with it. Communicating this to others and having them share their experiences of imposter phenomenon can be very healing. You can also work to identify that little voice inside of you that tells you that you're an imposter. That voice is not you. Also, those transitions that cause imposter phenomenon are times for exciting change and challenge and opportunities for growth. So if you're feeling it and feeling insecure, maybe you should look around and see what in your comfort zone is being pushed? Remember that everyone is different in many ways and that what makes us different is also what makes us unique.